Hi and welcome to MFL Outdoors and tonight's high seat night so I'm going to be seeing if there's any roebucks about I'm also going to be seeing if there's any foxes and then later on I'm going to check to see what rats are kicking around uh, so I've bought two rifles with me tonight I bought the FX DRS and uh, I've also bought my Seiko A7 stainless uh, and that's in 243 I'm using a the thermal on my 243 and I'm using the Hikmicro Alpex 4K LRF on the FX DRS. So I'm going to get the uh, DRS checked for zero and then I'll come back to you. I've just stopped to have a quick scan round just to see if there's anything on the fields before I make me trip up into the high seed. Seems all very quiet though. This is a new horse here. I had to introduce myself so it got used to me voice. It's amazing how they get used to your voice at night. Okay guys, well uh, I've zeroed the DRS and that's fine now. So I can use that later on. And now I'm going up on the high seat. So I'll see you when I get up there. I left it a bit late getting up into the high seat to look for a roebuck. Uh, I had very little time left before I wasn't able to shoot one. So I just gave it a few squeaks on the call to see if there was anything about. But at this time there was nothing anyhow. Well there, uh, I'm up in the high seat and uh, I've been using the caller for a while uh, but no, uh, no bucks have turned up so it looks like it'd be switch over to a foxing night now time's getting on so we'll have a sit and see what happens you never know got a few bunnies there in the corner we don't have that many on here so I don't really bother with them and there is where the foxes normally come up and there's another couple of bunnies there out on the field if they get too many, I do take uh, a few off, but uh, at the moment, uh, they're fine. The temperature's actually started to drop now, which is probably a good thing, because it's been absolutely sweltering all day. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm pleased about that. Uh, there's not so many insects out, which is even better because uh, you tend to get eaten alive up in the high seat so yeah we'll just keep watching right and there's something just following the hedge line down it's just gone under the hedge uh, have to see what that is uh, it's a badger i thought it was a fox for a minute but uh, no such luck we've got a few badgers around here It's having a good old dig there. Something's taking its fancy. And here comes another one running across the field. Let's see what happens here. From the looks of that, they're part of the same set. There's no argy-bargy going on. And there's one of them off down that fence line. All the foxes seem to follow that fence line and the badgers. And they often cut underneath there as well. Uh, they follow it all the way down to a gate and then they go down to the bottom field. Uh, they like to have a good old rummage around in there. And as you can see, that's the gate that they always go under. Yeah, and it's heading off down there. The other badgers come into the field where my high seat is, and it's actually sniffing the air because that heat signature to the right is a rabbit lying low. There's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
a badger, if it gets the chance, will eat a rabbit. Obviously, they can't chase them, but uh, if it comes across one, it'll eat it. Some of these frizzy-haired pop stars, mentioned in no names, will uh, have you believe that they just eat worms and beetles. But that's just not true. These people should stick with being pop stars and leave countryside management to the people like us who know what we're talking about. Badgers have a fantastic sense of smell. You can always tell a badger through the thermal because it'll stop, it lifts its head, sniffs around for a bit, then it'll go forward so far, then it stops and sniffs again. It's just so distinctive. Uh, you can tell it a mile apart from uh, a fox and the way it moves. It's actually making its way right over to the ladder of me high seat. It's getting really close. You might be coming to get in the high seat with me. Ah, hang on, he's picked up my scent, even though I'm up a height. He knows there's something up. Yep. Yeah, uh, he definitely got my scent there. I've been like sitting in a tree in the middle of the night. <laughs> right, let's get back to it. That heat source in the long grass there uh, could be a fox. It could also be a deer. Um, they both come through that way and it's very hard to tell at the moment it's not moving as much as I'd like to be if it was a fox but uh, we'll wait and see no, it's a deer uh, the luck's not with us tonight um, it's a rodo it's good to see them about though and eventually, uh, if there's a road dough about, there'll be a buckle turn up. Uh, obviously no good tonight, but on another day. Well, I've been up in here quite a long time now. And even with some thermal cushioning, my backside's going numb. So I think I'm going to make my way down the ladder. Yep. It's time to get out of here. Right, it's now uh, 2 o'clock in the morning and there's been absolutely nothing apart from those badgers and the rodo. Um, so I'm heading home. It's absolutely freezing now and we've got like a blanket fog across the field. Uh, never mind. I think we're going to have to do an, another night out. Whew. Well, I'm back in the truck and now I've locked everything up and I'm heading out of here. Two o'clock in the morning and it's freezing cold and I'm going home to have something to eat. See me ducks. <laughs> All right, uh, not a very good night as far as getting anything's concerned, but uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned and uh, we'll have another look out. See if we get anything this time. Welcome back. Um, night two. Try again. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, I'm not at the same location tonight. Uh, I'm going to give the high seat a try another night. Uh, I'm actually up uh, on the fell. Or next to the fell. There's a couple of fields up here. Uh, it's got quite a few rabbits on. So I'm going to take them off. Um, tonight I'm using the Browning T-Bolt 22LR, um, I'm using the Hikmicro Alpex, uh, that's the 4K LRF and uh, I'm also using CCI Suppressor 45 grain hollow points. So let's see what tonight brings. Right but before I do anything, I uh, haven't anything to eat so it's not dearly done tonight, certainly not. Tonight I'm going pasty. <laughs> steak pasty 
Um, lovely. Right, I've had my pasty, which I'm sure will give me heartburn for the rest of the night. Um, but it was very nice. <laughs> you can see these rocks and that are holding the heat really well. That's the dry stone wall going along the side of the fell. And that's really bright at the moment. Uh, it'll probably cool down a bit later on during the night. And there's one or two rabbits starting to show themselves. Just managed to feed that through the gap in the fence. Now, now bring it back to base mag. The scope's automatically switched itself to day mode. It seemed from the sensor that there's enough light. And here it's gone back to night mode, but I'm not using any IR. And here's the resident barn owl. It nests quite close by. Uh, it's always hunting around here. Absolutely stunning birds. I love seeing them. It's just perched itself on the old cottage ruin. And here you can see I've turned the IR light on. There's a lot of rushes in this field and it actually does help because the rabbits don't see you coming. I've been watching this hare for a while making its way down from the fell. It's getting closer and closer. I wonder how close it's actually going to get because it's coming right up to me. It's literally just a few metres away. As you can probably hear, the wind's starting to pick up now, and we are quite high up. We're starting to clock up a few now.
And here we've got a pipistrelle bat uh, flying about. There's a few around uh, collecting the insects up, which is great because it's less to bite me. This one's unlucky, I just spotted it as I was going back to the truck. Right, I'm back to the truck now. That was 30 rabbits in total, so that's not bad going. And it's just, just gone midnight, so that was a good stint. Uh, I'm now going to head back to the barn to where uh, prepare these ready to go in the chiller for the game dealer in the morning so i'll come back to you when i've done that and now i'm gonna head off of this field right let's get out of here got to keep a look out on this field because there's a lot of rabbit holes the last thing i want is my truck wheel to go down one Okay, thanks for joining me on this one. Weather's been pretty good. Um, there were 30 in total, uh, so I had counted correctly. They're all prepared in the back of the truck, ready to go off to the chiller. And then they'll be going to the game dealers later on today, because it's now 108. <laughs> so it's not been a bad night to get that amount. And uh, it was certainly better than the night in the high seat. There wasn't much to get at all there. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.